Bam. All right, guys, playing around here with the new color. Just trying to catch a few fish on today. Prettiest day we've had for a long, long time, a couple weeks, I reckon. He's about nine inches. This is Flamingo with a blue tail. I found a little school of fish right here in this corner. Uh, I was toying with them on a, on a tree. It's a tree coming in here. They're on the very tip top of it. So you can see the limbs over here on it. Some fish on it too. You can see the limbs coming up. Not all those are fish. Some of them are crappy. Some of them are sunfish too. But let's throw at them a couple times and see if we can, if they like his Flamingo. We're gonna move on so we can find some bigger fish. I don't think any of these are any size to them. Plus, I get tired of getting hung up in the treetop. Unless you got to watch on a uh, down tree, you, you carefully stay hung up all the time. I don't see any of them paying any attention to it. I don't see any of them moving. Yep, I got found the treetop though. Ain't hard to find limbs, is it? That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch these treetops. There you go. Oops, you got off. You stay hung up more when you catch fish. Well, I've had two bites. I got the third one. So there's quite a few fish there. I just don't think there's any size to them. This one's got a little more meat to him. Yeah. And that's what you gotta do is, uh, it takes a good fisherman to get in a treetop that full of baby fish and just catch the biggest ones out of it. You know that? <laughs> I'm being funny guys sometimes I do believe this now sometimes I think you get the right color bait you draw you draw a bigger bite the other day I was catching really nice fish on the uh, wild color wild color with a black tail it seemed like most of the fish I caught on it was really nice bam that's a nice one too decent one He's eating size, isn't he? We just, we just went come back to the grocery store this morning, my wife and I, so I'm not going to keep any. He's about nine and a half. All right, guys, this one's smaller. This is what I was expecting them all to be on this treetop right here. He's about eight inches. Hey, but that's three casts, three fish. Uh, he's about the same size. All right, guys, I'm not going to show y'all a bunch of babies. This is a community spot. Some of y'all think it's a secret spot. And they ain't got a secret spot. I have been here before fishing up down this path. I fish this area a lot, guys. I only live about a mile and a half from here. And I have been here fishing for another boat's come around the corner, come up. And, Do you mind if I fish for by you? I know. Go ahead. I don't own the lake. And they'll come through there and stop and start catching the crap right in front of me. And they'll say, yeah, I fish this a lot. And I've seen them here. I've seen two boats all ago up here on the point fishing the same spot I fish a lot. And I've seen those same two boats right here fishing before. Well, that's a little bit bigger. Got the camera on because I thought he was a little bit bigger. Nah, I don't think he is. All right, guys, I left that little treetop, came back to open water. That's what, I was, that's what I was making a video about earlier, was fishing open water before I started this video. And the bigger crappie are in open water, as you can see. The ones I caught off that tree were decent, but there's your quick curl in your tail. Look how fat that thing is. Good gosh, looks like me. He's a good 11 inches. That's a good eating size right there. I hope this is a crappie. Throwing that fish on the bottom still, guys. Yeah, it is. The reason I said that, guys, it's a nice fish. When you throw them on the bottom, the last three I've caught, I think three, has been bass. You don't know what you're going to catch. That's what they're doing now. Yesterday, now I was out here day four yesterday, and they wasn't running the bottom. They were still running somewhat on the bottom, but you know, he's running 
three or four feet off the bottom. Today, they're running the bottom. Now, it was 22 here the other night, 22 degrees at night. Last night it was 30, 32, 34. That's a nice fish, guys, on that pink. Flamingo, pink flamingo with a blue tail. I have good luck with the blue tails. That's why I wanted to add some of them to the site. I made some, been fishing with them off and on through the years, last year or so. Gave some to some people, and they all said, hey, they work pretty good. They like that blue tail, and they're on different colors. Wild, Virginia Shad, they like the blue tail. Well, let me add a couple more on this video with the blue tail. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, switch, guys. I'm trying to make two videos at a time. I'm also working on a video of catching open water fish, like this right here. All right, guys. They're out of school. They're 50 feet out there. That's about all further I can throw, too, is 50 feet. Now, I see them shuffling. They're checking it out. I've been catching so many bass, and the bass will constantly move around. Uh, I, 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 I just took it away from one. Uh, the bass will constantly move around, and they will move around with those crappy. Got him. You see that? I set the hook. It went about eight feet in there. I got to tell this is a bass. It went eight feet in the air, and as it came back down, a couple ran up and grabbed it. So the bass will usually do that too. They're hanging around with those crappy, and they're acting they feel like they're stealing food from them. But no, this is crappy. But this is why I've been throwing at them. I've caught some nice fish today. I've caught some babies too, but I've caught some nice fish today. That's a good lead mentor there. Take those all day long, every day. Won't y'all? Caught a 15 incher. Y'all probably y'all gonna see him the other day uh, doing this. But uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna finish up on this one right here. I think I might catch another one, one or two on it. We'll see. That in the right there's pushing 12 inches. He's probably 11 and a half, 11 five eighths. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. The camera cut off for me. It's my fault. Did y'all see how I finally got him to hit it? I don't know how close y'all was watching or not. And it was a long time period there. But they were following it <coughs> over toward those school of shad. And when I got close to the shad, I popped it real hard. And the water made it come up, popped it again real hard. So it came up a couple, a foot or so. And he ran over and grabbed it. That done it in for him. He had to have it. Now, that's a trick I probably shouldn't tell everybody. <laughs> Now, I've, I've mentioned that before, guys. I've done it dock fishing. You throw underneath the dock sometimes. <clears throat> School fishing will paint it, jerk it real fast, make it pop through the water like 10 or 12 inches real fast. And sometimes they'll grab it. And that's what he done. And I popped it real hard and he grabbed it. All right, guys. Trying to get trying to get some good footage on open water fish for y'all. See, I've caught a, quite a few. And there are a lot of fish scattered on this channel. So here, I don't think that's a crappy. Or something at 10 foot. But they're running this open water like this all winter. There's a school of shad. There's fish behind them. So there's fish over here at 45 feet. There's a fish right there at 25 feet, and they are about 12 feet deep. All right, they're a little far. Let's see, let's, let's see what happens. You gotta have some patience too when you're fishing open water fish. You see my bait coming down right here? All right, I'm gonna bring it toward them now. I'm about the right le level. I like it when I can see my bait. I can't see it all the time. I can see it good there right now. <clears throat> all right, it's right there above him. Right there above him. Right at him. I'm going to pop it a couple times. Just let it go up, come down one time. Uh, he moved away from it. That fish moved away from it. A couple of them are falling a little bit. He's like, uh... I don't know if I want it or not. Oops, I can't see them. There they are. They're not easy to catch today. Now I'm going to do the same trick now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Pop it way up there and let it fall. Pop it up there and let it fall. I right, said so they, didn't, they didn't get excited that time. I done that last time. The last one wanted to grab it. You just got to try a different thing sometimes. 